Hey guys, Sebastian here from Green Sound Productions. Today's video is going to be about Vary Audio. Vary Audio is a really powerful tool that was introduced in Cubase 5 and it allows you not only to tune vocals but any monophonic instrument. So I use it a lot to tune cellos, violins, trumpet, trombone, saxophones, even bass and guitar solos. So it's really nice to have that feature in Cubase. And today I'm going to try to show you not only how to use it, but how to get good results out of Vary Audio. So let's listen to the track we're working on now. I feel better If it wouldn't be from all the pressure around But I won't surrender So as you can see, it's not a final song, final track. It's just a rough idea of a song. So the vocals are really rough and it's only to show how the final vocals will sound like. But today that's the track that I'm going to use to show you how to use Vary Audio. Uh, the first thing you need to do is double click on the event that you're trying to tune. Um, on the left panel here, uh, you will see a Vary Audio tab. If you click on it to show all the Vary Audio options, the first thing you need to do is to click on the Pitch and Warp button. Uh, by doing that, Cubase will analyze the, uh, the audio event and will render all of those blocks here. They represent the notes that Cubase detected uh, from the uh, vocal or instrument performance. Uh, once that's done, um, you can pretty much click on any of them and listen to them if the... Um, acoustic pitch feedback is enabled if if it's not enabled you won't be able to hear the segments but if it, if it is as you can see as i click on a part or move it around you can hear it so as you if, if you ever used melodyne vary audio is similar to melodyne but since it's in cubase it's really fast and easy to use um, the blocks represent, as I said, the pitch. The little line that you see represent the exact pitch variation of your audio performance. Uh, the segments mode here, uh, the only reason why I use the segments mode uh, is to cut an event in half. Uh, because let's say I only want to edit the last part of that event here. I can cut it in half and then go back to pitch and warp and only move the second part. Uh, by default, if you click on a on a segment and move it around, Cubase uh, Cubase will keep uh, the relative pitch uh, value that you had on your original performance, which means that it won't put it perfectly on the note, but will keep the little uh, gap. If if you were a bit flat, for example, it will move the note but it will keep it a little bit flat. If you want to put it perfectly on the pitch, you have to hold the command key if you're on a Mac or control key if you're on a PC. That way it will put it perfectly on the pitch. And if you hold the shift key, uh, you can, mo you can move the, the, the notes freely so you can do whatever you want with it. That's really useful. Uh, usually I use the perfect pitch snap uh, because I always want to tune the vocals. So instead of um, always holding the command key, I change the preferences. So instead, Cubase would snap all of the segments perfectly to the pitch when I move them around without needing to hold the command key. So that can be done by going to the preferences. Under editing, there's a tool modifiers options. Um, and there's a edit pitch and warp tool tab here and now you can see all of the keys that are assigned to the different functions uh, by default the command will be assigned to the absolute pitch snapping but what I did is I clicked on the uh, relative pitch snapping I held command and clicked the assign button so it switched uh, the, the modifier keys for those those two options that way now when I hold command it will keep the relative pitch and if I just move the segment around it will snap to perfect pitch so it's a lot faster for me because I can just move the, the the segments that I want to tune and it will automatically snap that's a nice tip um, that will save you a lot of time if, if you're 
tuning a lot of vocals. Uh, if you're trying to achieve the T-Pain effect, where it's uh, robotic and really like it's, it's, it's used a lot today uh, as, an, uh, as a nice effect, uh, the way to do that is you can select the events that you want to apply that effect to, or you can just uh, control, uh, sorry, command A or control A to select all of the events. And what you have to do is move the quantize slider to maximum uh, by clicking on the field here. Uh, you bring it to maximum, it will quantize all of the segments. And do the same thing for the straighten pitch. Straighten pitch will flatten the performance so it's perfectly on the pitch. So that does a, a robotic effect that you're looking for if you're looking for the T-Pain effect. Let's listen to it now. But I would feel better. So that's really easily done. But that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do more of a transparent effect where I just tune the vocals, but it doesn't, it's it's not, you can hear that I use the tuning uh, tool. That's the hardest thing to do, actually. Uh, but it's not so hard with Variadio. Um, so if we listen to this, the part, there's a little solo button. So if you only want to listen to the vocal uh, or whatever instrument you're tuning uh, in solo, you can click that. Uh, so let's listen to it again. But I would feel better. So this part here is a bit flat and this is a bit sharp. So I'll just snap it to perfect pitch. Feel. As you saw earlier, you can always um, move the quantize pitch slider to move it perfectly uh, to the pitch. That's useful if you're editing multiple parts at the same time and you can just use the quantize pitch and we'll move them all to perfect pitch but i like to do like separate parts uh, and listen to them and be really careful to make sure it sounds natural and it's really tight and uh on on the pitch um so let's listen to it again but i would feel bad so i don't like the wood here because it's going up and then going back down so i'm just gonna separate that event in half. By going into segments mode you can also switch between the two modes by pressing the tab button so you don't have to go there every time. And I'm gonna split that part in half. Hold the sh shift key to move it freely. Try to make it as natural as possible. And listen to it again. But I would feel better that sounds pretty good. Um, let's say I don't like the vibrato on the end of that part here. So it starts about here. So I'm I'm into segment segments mode. I split the part. Go back to pitch and warp. Select that part and straighten the pitch a little bit that will remove a bit of the vibrato if you do it too much it's going to start sounding robotic uh, but if you do it just a little bit it makes it less intense and that's the that's what i want here um, cubase has a hard time um, dealing with this and sh when it comes to a, a pitch tuning so I usually remove uh, those parts before I tune that segment. So let's listen to this part here. Brush, brush. Usually when there's a sh or s, uh, you won't see a line. You will see uh, like an empty space that is included in the in the segment. So I usually cut them out and only edit brush, brush. the part with the note. Sh if you move those uh, sh sh and s around. Sh as you can hear, there's a little grain effect. It's weird to... <laughs> so you don't want that if you want it to sound natural. Uh, but if you move it around, you can always reset it to its original pitch by selecting it and pressing the little reset uh, button here. You have a couple of options, pitch change, warp changes, pitch and warp changes, and reanalyze audio. In that case, I only want to reset the pitch changes. Um, as you can see, there's a warp uh, changes. The reason why it's there is because Vary Audio also allows you to warp the audio in real time. It's really powerful. So let's say All up. I want that part to be um, 
all up to be smaller but this part here oh. i want to stretch it so it's it lasts longer you can just go to the edge of any of those two events and move it around and it will warp them in real time so that's really powerful let's listen to it now from all the pressure around from all up from all up as you can see you can do pretty much whatever you want in terms of pitch and warp in Vary Audio, so it's really useful. Um, sometimes Cubase will detect... Uh, as you can see here, there there's a, a note that's not supposed to be um, uh, the same note as the rest of the part, but Cubase will detect it as one big note. So you have to go into segments mode and separate that part. So you can tune it as two notes. Um, that doesn't happen a lot, but it happens sometimes. So let's listen to it now. Sounds pretty good. That part here is a little weird, so I'll uh, try to do that and listen to it now. Yeah, I prefer that. So as you can see, you can do so many things with Vary Audio. It's a really powerful tool. I highly recommend uh, I highly recommend it if you want to tune any vocal saxophone or any instrument that is monophonic. I hope you enjoyed that video and stay tuned for more video. If you like those videos, please press the subscribe button and see you in the next video.